tonight I am going to talk to you about creating um, your wardrobe of happiness. <laughs> I will elaborate on that and explain a little bit more in detail um, what I wanted to sort of run through with you is just a little bit of kind of help basically uh, to get get your stuff together. I'll not say what I really want to say um, or not. You know, if you don't have time, that's fine. Um, so when you join, say hello or wave. Um, if you have questions, feel free to ask them throughout the chat. Um, what I will do is try and go back and read them later. <laughs> or at the end, sorry. Um, I might not manage that because I'm still a bit of a tech phobe when it comes to sorting out Instagram lives. Um, but I will have a go. If not, I will answer you afterwards and I will come back to you and either message in the comments or I will um, message you directly. So um, we'll have a bit of time anyway for Q&A just at the end so I, I should be able to read them. Anyway, so I can't... I'm talking about wardrobe of happiness and this is connected to things that I've been talking about in the last couple of weeks about um, a little bit about self-care actually, about looking after you, about making sure that you have you sorted because you're running the ship and it's a little bit of a crazy ship right now. <laughs> um, so the easier things are for you, the better. I am sure. I, certainly that works for me. Um, not that I am organised, as you already heard. I haven't even done my tax return yet. Um, but I find that I have certain things sorted, um, certain things lined up. It just makes things go a little bit smoother, especially in the morning before coffee. <laughs> um, so having your wardrobe set up so that when you open the doors everything in there makes you feel good when you put it on everything in there fits you well um you don't have to worry about putting it back because there's a few lockdown pounds going on at the moment um everything in that wardrobe mixes and matches um so this is an ideal sometimes it's a little bit of a journey to get to that point um and that's one of the reasons why i set up the boutique and then followed on with um becoming a personal stylist um because i wanted to be able to offer customers the whole um experience where at some point you will be able to shop with confidence online um, knowing your body shape and um, your style personality and so on um, and just know that what you're buying is right and I think because retail is changing so much at the moment because of the situation that we are in it's even it's even harder almost to shop online there's a lot of noise going on and um, you're not getting out to the shops to try things on and stuff so it's, it's almost even more important to kind of know exactly what you're looking for and what you are buying size wise as well and um, so one of the areas that I will be covering because I'm launching very soon my discovery services and I'll tell you more about that near the end is um, a wardrobe edit and basically the idea is that as I said everything in your wardrobe works really well for you you get lots of wear out of it you can have pieces there that you can wear you know with those, that pair of jeans or that work trouser or that jumper that goes with four other things in your wardrobe so um, it's like a capsule wardrobe basically and, and I'll talk a bit more about that in the next few weeks as well um, but starting with your wardrobe and having it a little bit more organised makes life easier so this is going to be class of self-care you're gonna get yourself a coffee put on some comfy clothes get in your bedroom blast the music out and shut the door so that you can have privacy. Yes, <laughs> away from the kids. Anyway, then what you're gonna do, so the first thing you need to do, and you're gonna be like, oh my God, no, take everything out. <laughs> take it all out. If you don't have a spare rail or an option to hang it anywhere else, you're gonna have to use your bed 
the best way to do it. And I understand that people will have clothing stored in all different places. So we're kind of focusing on the wardrobe here, um, but I'll go into detail on what we'll be putting back in the wardrobe after. Um, and obviously if you need professional help with this, <laughs> Um, that is an option and virtual is available as well because it is um it can be quite daunting um especially on the first run at this um so you want everything laid out what you're then going to do is sort all of the clothes that you have laid out on the beds for example or on the floor wherever you've had to put it um and you're going to work your way through it so this is why the music needs to be blasting if you're doing it in the evening you can even have fizz <laughs> Um, so music needs to be blasting and um, get yourself in a really good mindset because what this is going to do in the long run is make your life much easier. So you're going to have sorting into maybe three piles. So you, you want pieces that you love that you wear all the time in one pile. Then you want pieces that are maybes and these are things that Perhaps you've bought something and you've never actually worn it and it's still got the labels on or you have um, tried it a couple of times. It's not really working for you anymore or maybe you've had a lifestyle change. Obviously, lots of us are working from home now. So um, maybe the corporate uh, suit that you had is not really required at this point. Um, so put maybes in a pile and then put pieces that really don't make you feel good and pieces that you just don't wear and if you haven't worn it in a, in a really long time it's maybe time to let that piece go with love <laughs> um, so totally Marie Kondo is the goddess of sorting wardrobes um, and lives <laughs> in general and getting them more organised um, and she says let your give them some thank you thanks for being um, serving you and then let them go with love so obviously the idea of this is not to be getting rid of everything in your wardrobe. I mean, obviously, if you do decide that you need to get rid of it all and you want to replace it all, I can help you with that as well. But that's not the ideal um, scenario. What we want to do is breathe fresh life into your wardrobe and help you um, maybe put outfits together in a different way that you hadn't thought of or to wear that pair of jeans that you really loved but you couldn't figure out what to wear with them because you know they were a quirky um, cut or something like that. So the idea is you're going to go through all of your pieces um, and really kind of try and be ruthless. It actually is very cathartic to, to do this as well and you will find things that you've forgotten about. I trust, trust me you will definitely have things in there that you didn't remember that you owned and that you actually love and maybe haven't worn in a long time. So um, you're going to have these three piles. Also something to look for um, with your well-loved pieces, let's say, is if they're getting a little bit worn and a, a little bit well used, it is maybe time to let those go. And obviously they can be added. You can jot down a little list of pieces that you might need to add to your wardrobe. Say, you know, that jumper that you love, that you wear all the time is getting a bit tatty. You would like to replace that with something as close as possible to that item. So obviously it's quite a good idea to write that down. Then what you're going to do is try everything on. <laughs> so all your loves and all your maybes are going to get tried on. Your discard pile can go in a bag or box um, for charity. And actually there's lots of new ways popping up now that you can move clothes on um, in line with being mindful and um, obviously not taking everything to the dump. Um, people can use them for charity purposes and also um, you can sell some of the bits on, you know, especially pieces that maybe you haven't worn at all and they've still got the labels on. So there's lots of options for that um, and we will maybe cover that down the line. Uh, so trying everything on. Does it fit well? When you put it on, how does it make you feel? Do you feel good when you look in the mirror in that piece? Or is it a little bit tight? Is it not quite sitting right? Or have you not worn it because you didn't know what to put with it? Um, have a play around. Try it on with some accessories. 
try wearing it with something that maybe you hadn't and adding a belt try different shoes try you know have a proper dress up session with your wardrobe um, and really kind of play around and get quirky with it get some friends involved if you want to send them some pictures or obviously as I said I am on hand uh, we can do this together if you really need <laughs> if you need support um, and have a real play around with it all of your keeping things will then be going back into your wardrobe, obviously. So this is where we need to kind of have a little bit of organisation and you need to decide really, I guess, depends on your space. Everyone's got a different um, amount of space to play with. Ideally, what I think works best is that when you open that wardrobe, in there are pieces that you wear all the time, day to day, um, and pieces that are kind of fitting really well with your current lifestyle. Um, so for example, your holiday clothes at the moment, oh, mourn them, but they may need to go in a vacuum bag just for just now until we are allowed to go away again um, or until we hit the warmer weather. Um, so keep seasonal pieces out of your wardrobe so that when you're opening your wardrobe, you are um, seeing all the pieces that you're going to wear on a day to day basis. And it almost instantly is going to make life easier. Lots of dress up clothes might want to go perhaps in another storage area or if you've got a big enough space to move them all to one side. Um, if you are not going out and about wearing <laughs> wearing all your fancy dresses and um, obviously we're not in head attending weddings and things like that so I actually have that kind of wardrobe in a separate place although we are crammed <laughs> in this house but I do not honestly my wardrobe is actually smaller than this <laughs> unfortunately but I am lucky enough that I've got this box room full of boutique clothing to pick from so um, I'm kind of cheating a little bit <laughs> anyway so when you're putting the pieces back in, consider how how is that wardrobe going to work best for you? Is it that you're working from home, you know, 75% of the time and you do need to be kind of a little bit more corporate dress wise um, for your Zoom meetings and things like that? Um, those can all go in one area and then obviously you can break those down into sections as well um, and then have your lifestyle day-to-day -day pieces going or if you're really good you can be mixing and matching those two kind of lifestyle areas really well so this is where your capsule wardrobe comes into play so you know that blazer can be worn for a work uh, zoom but you can also be wearing it with your jeans and your trainers to go for a walk in the park when we have nice weather. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is what you have to work out as best for you. Um, the other thing that I'll recommend, and it sounds a bit um, odd, but I definitely recommend matching hangers. <laughs> Make sure you have all the same hangers. It just looks so good when you have them all lined up in your wardrobe. Um, I use these, these are velvet coated hangers they're very slim which I really love they've got these little notches now these come from B&M the range Amazon you know all these places you can get hold of these and there's lots of different colors so if you want to go all one color or if you want to change color for different lifestyle areas knock yourself out as well but I <laughs> definitely recommend having matching um, hangers and also because these are quite slim they do take up less space on the top but also you can actually see the clothes better. You know, the clothes are the focus. These giant um, wooden hangers look lovely. And if you've got a massive space, they're great because things can be spaced out, but um, they do tend to take up a lot of space. So these are ideal. And I actually found on Amazon these little clips as well. So these actually clip on to the hanger. Um, so I've just got these in a pack when, as and when I need them for on for trousers and skirts and things like that so that you can hang them. Um, so they are fab. And then um, what you want to do is pop it back into sections. Um, so however is going to work best for your wardrobe and obviously I can help with that if you need me to. Um, what I've done here just as a little example um, as I've started with dresses at the end now because I've got one of these storage boxes down on the bottom here obviously that affects where 
the long pieces go. So have a play around with the space that you've got. These storage boxes are fab for, you know, things like you could put scarves, undies, um, belts and accessories and things like that can go in there. Um, shoes, t-shirts, vest tops, and, you know, they're actually really good to um, help add to your storage space and just kind of neaten it up so you know where everything is when you're going in there which means that the mornings are much quicker, much smoother and mummy's head is not bursting trying to figure out what she's going to put on before she gets the rest of the rabble sorted. <laughs> So my complete Scottishness is coming out now. So I've started with dresses, the longer pieces, um, and then cord. Then I've got jeans. Then I'm going into more casual trousers. I've got some work style, work from home trousers. Then I've got gorgeous skirts. Then I've got some knitwear here purely because these are longer line cardies and they need a bit more space. Um, on that note, when remember and bear in mind when you're hanging knitwear, I'll do a little video of how to hang your jumpers if you have to. If you can fold jumpers and put them on a shelf, I don't know if you can see that, I'm a little bit far away. Um, you know and slot shoes and things like that and that's the best way or if you've got shelving you know above that's the best way to store your knitwear because it will stretch out of shape if you have it hanging on on hangers for a long period of time especially when it's in there it's more likely to snag as well and um, but if you are hanging them another tip is to use old shoulder pads <laughs> if you've cut them out of anything or pads out of bras or bikinis or anything like that and actually put them over the hanger underneath this just so that you don't have the sharp edge um, on the knitwear that will stop them from stretching as well or help um, keep them softer or you can buy those chunkier um, hangers that are actually padded or kind of you know the satin style ones that you used to get those are good just because they give a bit more support for your knitwear um, so next I've got blazer and um, outfit elevators, <laughs> uh, dress up tops, and you'll see there's like, there's only one here at the moment. <laughs> um, work, work from home clothes, and then into more kind of casual tops. I'll swap sides. Um, so casual tops and t-shirts. I've got long sleeved in one area and then short sleeved. Then I have um, sweatshirts, some knitwear, this is a cheeky sneak of how to fold your knitwear over um, over a hanger. Basics, which are really important. So you, you may not necessarily want to hang these. Um, they could be in your little storage boxes below or in a drawer or something like that. But if you do want to hang them, keep them in one area. And it means when you're looking at your wardrobe and you're opening it up, you're saying, right, well, I need this vest top and I'm going to wear it with my blazer and then I'm going to pop it on with these trousers today and that's me sorted for the day. So you can clearly see all of your pieces. They're all in the organisation. Um, it does make life so much easier in the morning um, if you know where everything is. Um, so decide what works best for you with how you pop it all back in there. Um, and then Something that is good when you're trying things on, like I mentioned, make a little list of pieces that you might be missing in your wardrobe. So perhaps um, your blazer's looking a little bit tired and you need to replace it. Or um, actually I need, I, I don't really have an off white t-shirt. I'm really missing that. I'm going to have to add that in because if I had the off white t-shirt, I could wear these trousers with this uh, bomber jacket and that would be another whole new outfit. But then I could also wear the white t-shirt with that skirt or those um, jeans. So there, there will be potentially a couple of pieces missing from your wardrobe that you might want to replace um, if they are a little bit tired of worn or actually that one piece could make four or five different outfits. So that's something to consider. 
Um, now, so remember, I can help with this. <laughs> so coming soon will be my new discovery services. So if you want to hear more about those um, or uh, you want to join the wait list and um, I will be covering a full range of services. Um, I will able, I'm able to do that virtually. So don't worry about me coming into your home at this point. Um, but if you are local to me, I can do those too once we work out the logistics of that but I, because it's a service um, some services will be allowed once we come out of lockdown so we'll be able to do those and um, make sure so you don't miss any news that you're either signed up to the mailing list which you can do through the website um, so if you just click the link in the bio that'll take you to the website you can register um, on there for the mailing list um, and you get lots of tidbits of um, info and sales and recaps and things like that and advice on there too um, and then um, the other option is I do have a Facebook group um, which I run it's a lovely community and you are welcome to join us over there too it's the inner style circle and again link is in the bio for that um, so uh, make sure that you join to find out more about what we're going to be doing. Um, I will come back on tomorrow at some point because I have a whole range of new gorgeous pieces to show you um, but I didn't want to talk for too long. Tonight it's Thursday, I do believe it's, it's time for cocktails girls. <laughs> um, if you're watching this on the replay, hello and um, Make sure you tag me and let me know that you've watched or and this will be over on IGTV once we are finished here. But if anyone is watching and they do have any questions, please shout now. Um, I'm happy to answer those. I'll give you a minute or so to to ask away. Um, and obviously, if you are joining in on the Facebook group or signing up for the emails, feel free to email me or DM me any questions that you might have as well. Um, little bits of outfit advice or um, how to sort your wardrobe or if your wardrobe's in five different places and you don't know where to start, um, maybe... I can help you with that too. So I'll hang on for just a second. I'll let you admire the wardrobe. Wouldn't it be nice? Technically, I could have all of this. It's it's um, so tempting to be <laughs> to be sat here with all of this in the house. So I do pick out pieces that I feel are missing from my wardrobe. But yes, I have a very small wardrobe. There is no room. Um, so right i'm not seeing any questions popping up just now in case i'm missing them um so i will save this and um feel free to watch back and message me with questions or pop an email over if you need to and i will catch you soon i'm going to have a little gin i think um so good evening thanks for watching see you soon